What up techies? Pluto may be the oddball of the solar system, but that doesn't mean it's not worth paying attention to. For years, Pluto was considered the ninth planet, but after a century of discovery, astronomers have determined that Pluto is a dwarf planet and the largest celestial body in the Kuiper belt. And although it's no longer considered a planet, Pluto continues to fascinate scientists with its strange and extraordinary features. Recently, images from the New Horizons spacecraft have revealed that Pluto is covered in a vast ocean of nitrogen ice. And even more remarkably, this ocean constantly changes shape as Pluto rotates on its axis. So whatever you do, don't forget about Pluto. It may be small, but it's got a lot going on. Let's discuss the peculiar things happening on this celestial body. Pluto may be a small, cold world at the edge of our solar system, but it's home to some big surprises. One of the most unexpected is the existence of ice volcanoes. The New Horizons probe photographed these towering peaks, convincing evidence that Pluto is still geologically active. While volcanoes on Earth are powered by lava, Pluto's volcanoes are fueled by ice. This unusual phenomenon occurs when currents of heated water beneath the surface melt Pluto's frozen crust. The resulting vapor escapes through the peaks, carrying bits of ice and snow. Over time, this deposition creates the tall, sharp-edged mountains that give Pluto its distinctive appearance. So, although it may be a long way from home, Pluto is still a part of our solar system. And thanks to recent discoveries like these, it's also one of the most fascinating worlds we've ever seen. Another source of volcanic eruptions is the gravitational dragging of another mass that is significantly larger than the volcano. Because Jupiter's gravitational pulls produce an enormous tidal force in the satellite's core, Jupiter's satellite Io is the object in the solar system with the highest level of volcanic activity. This results in eruptions from the volcano in the end. But what kinds of things occur on Pluto? Since Pluto does not suffer from gravitational forces from any of its moons, and does not have accumulated heat in its core just like the Earth does, the question arises as to what causes the eruptions on Pluto. The scientists' only theory is that the heat generated by Pluto's volcanic explosions could be coming from within the planet itself. There is a possibility that some of the planetary bodies in the solar system, such as Europa or Enceladus, have an ocean of this kind that maintains its liquid state. Do you remember when we said that there is also cryovolcanism in the satellite of Enceladus? Cryovolcanoes are not necessarily formed by high temperatures, but rather by considerable temperature differences. In this case, the ice's low temperature combined with the water's high temperature just overplays the role of magma or lava, while ice plays the role of rock. Cryovolcanoes are not necessarily formed by high temperatures, but rather by considerable temperature differences. This is exactly what may be causing the cryovolcanic eruptions of Pluto. So the dwarf planet would not be as cold and still as we believed, but instead, it would be a body with a lot of activity going on inside of it. Another intriguing mystery revealed by the photographs gathered by the New Horizons mission is that in contrast to other distant celestial bodies, there are essentially no traces of asteroids. This does not imply that there are not any asteroid impacts taking place on Pluto. Rather, it indicates that something is covering them up. For instance, asteroid collisions are practically never noticed on Earth in contrast to the moon which is covered with hundreds of impact craters. This is due to the fact that erosion fills up the craters on Earth leaving no record of them after a while. Whereas on the moon, where there is no atmosphere and no tectonic movements, the craters are preserved forever. Pri-volcanic eruptions may be responsible for Pluto's lack of impact craters because this indicates that something is covering the surface of Pluto. If this is the case, Pluto will have significantly more substantial activity than any other body in the solar system, even more than Mercury. This is an extremely fascinating topic because it is a very small, frigid, and remote celestial planet. The photographs captured by the New Horizons spacecraft allowed researchers to see unusual bumps in the solar system that had never been seen before. This suggests that there were active ice volcanoes on Pluto that may have reached a height of up to seven kilometers. As a point of reference, the diameter of Pluto is only one sixth that of the Earth. It is unprecedented for volcanoes to be located so far above the surface of such a relatively minor celestial body. It is the same as if there were a volcano on Earth that was five times higher than Mount Everest. Images captured by NASA have enabled a group led by the Southwest Research Institute in Colorado to investigate a region on the dwarf planet that is characterized by significant elevation variations southwest of an area known as Sputnik Planitia, an icy plain located close to the planet's equator. After researching geomorphology and composition, the team concluded that the region in question was produced by cryovolcanic processes, which are phenomena that are now exclusive to Pluto. This was stated in the report that the team published. The research indicates that the temperature inside Pluto has been consistently greater than what was previously thought over a period 
that is sufficient to account for that behavior. According to planetary scientist Kelsey Singer of the Southwest Research Institute in Colorado, cryovolcanoes do not expel lava but rather a thick, murky mixture of water and ice, or perhaps even a solid flow like Earth's glaciers. On this dwarf planet, areas of gigantic ice volcanoes with a wonderful texture of undulating relief can be seen. The undulating relief is rather impressive, but we suspect they may be just a few hundred million years old or perhaps younger. Singer added, referring to the difficulty in providing an exact date for the development of these volcanoes. The absence of impact craters generated by asteroids in the region where these formations are found does not preclude the likelihood that ice volcanoes are still forming. Think about how the New Horizons spacecraft only made one pass close to Pluto, yet we still managed to find so many amazing things there. But the only way to determine whether or not these occurrences continue is to send a new mission to Pluto. This mission will photograph the planet to determine whether or not new volcanoes have formed. In that case, there is an astounding potential that needs to be taken into consideration. Would it be possible to find water on Pluto? A small planet like Pluto, which ought to have lost most of its internal heat a long time ago, managed to maintain sufficient energy to power vast geological activity that is unique. Many portions of the region have an odd aspect as they are filled with lumps or mounds that are undulating and rounded mounds. The experts are of the opinion that these two core mounds could have been formed by the gradual accumulation of some smaller mounds that were ice volcanoes. This would imply that cryovolcanic activity should be anticipated on Pluto. There is not another place on Pluto that is even remotely similar to this one. These features have a very distinctive appearance in comparison to any volcano in the solar system, regardless of whether the volcanoes in question are composed of ice or rock. They take the form of mountains, but there is no caldera at the peak, and they are characterized by several huge bumps throughout. In light of the compelling evidence that there is cryovolcanic activity on Pluto, there is a remote potential that there is liquid water on the inside of the dwarf planet, as well as in other worlds in the solar system, such as Europa or Enceladus. Even though Pluto is situated in one of the solar system's coldest regions, some conditions on the planet would make it conceivable for liquid water to exist beneath its icy crust. This water would not be present in the form of a large ocean like the one that is believed to be buried beneath Jupiter's moon Europa. Rather, it would be located in small gaps beneath certain portions of the dwarf planet. The internal heat that is held inside could result in temperature discrepancies between water and ice, leading to cryovolcanoes forming everything goes together well. Or does it not? It is not out of the question that there could be life hidden behind the massive ice sheets that cover Pluto if there is liquid water there. It is important to remember that water is one of the essential prerequisites for living things on a planet or other celestial bodies. There is always life in the presence of water. Besides being the former ninth planet in our solar system, Pluto has been making headlines recently for various reasons. In fact, scientists are now once again paying attention to Pluto because they believe that the dwarf planet may have liquid water, which would mean the possibility of life. Though it's probable, it's simply a guess at this point. It's impossible to say for sure if there's water on Pluto, much less if there are any living things there. However, that does not prevent us from daydreaming. Pluto, after all, has a lot to teach us. There's no telling what the dwarf planet has to offer. We may one day discover that Pluto does in fact have life. We can only surmise until then. What's your opinion? Might there be water on Pluto? In the comments section below, please tell us what you think.